Worthington. The name is Felton, Mrs. Worthington. Charm, Mrs. Worthington. Your daughter, Mrs. Worthington. Delighted, Mrs. Worthington. Oh, I say, Mrs. Worthington. Really, Mrs. Worthington? No, don't, Mrs. Worthington. Don't put your daughter on the stage, Mrs. Worthington. Don't put your daughter on the stage. The profession is overcrowded, and the struggle's pretty tough. And admitting the fact she's learning to act, that isn't quite enough. She has nice hands to give the wretched girl her due. But don't you think her bust is too developed for her age? Regarding yours, dear Mrs. Worthington, of Wednesday the 23rd, although your baby may be keen on a stage career, how can I make it clear that this is not a good idea for her to hope? Dear Mrs. Worthington, is on the face of it absurd. Her personality is not, in reality, inviting enough, exciting enough for this particular sphere. Don't put your daughter on the stage, Mrs. Worthington. <laughs> Don't put your daughter on the stage. She's a bit of an ugly duckling, you must honestly confess. And the width of her seat would surely defeat her chances of success. It's a loud voice. And though it's not exactly flat, she'll need a little more than that to earn a living wage. On my knees, Mrs. Worthington. Please, Mrs. Worthington. Don't put your daughter on the stage. May I repeat? Now, don't put your daughter on the stage, Mrs. Worthington. I mean it. Don't put that old tired bag on the stage. Well, they said at the School of Acting she was lovely as Pierre Gint. I'm afraid on the whole an ingenue role would emphasize her squint. She's a big girl. And though her teeth are fairly good, she's not the type I ever would be eager to engage. No more butts, Mrs. Worthington. Nuts, Mrs. Worthington. Don't put your daughter on. 